Hey guys, Ashley here coming at you today discussing Dragloon all the way up at Town Hall 11. Now, I am trophy pushing, I am going for Legends League, and I'm pretty close now, 49-29. Still might be a few days, but I want to go ahead and show the strategy I'm using uh, on my push. And the reason I'm using it is because I think this uh, Dragloon variation, uh, troop composition, is probably the safest strategy in Clash of Clans right now. And up here, you certainly don't want to lose. Now, I do have a couple one-stars scattered in there, but most it's two stars and, and a lot of the times I'm not even needing my king and my queen which is nice because then they're available fresh with full health for my next attack which could of course be a few hours down the road uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys an example of exactly what I'm doing and I'm gonna show you in three easy steps and we're gonna go over a couple of the common mistakes that people might make so the first thing you do is identify the location of the air defenses in this base we have two air defenses on the east two air defenses in the west you can see we have one single target inferno tower you look at the direction the air sweeper is facing and then you make your decision what you want to do is zap out using two lightnings and one earthquake the air defense that is second closest to your engagement point point the closest to your engagement point is going to be hit with the lava hound that you have in your clan castle now this coincidentally is a great strategy to switch up to when you're using go wipe or go wee wee to recoup some of that dark elixir then you send your warden in set on air you can obviously use this as a town hall 10 as well same strategy only you don't have the warden uh, the warden's really cool though because what you can do is I said it's a three-step strategy number one is identify where you want to attack the base from and uh, number two is go ahead and uh, spread your dragons really wide this way you can make sure that you get that decent spread to take out the entire base to get that percentage and obviously create the funnel for your middle dragons to take out that town hall so now the town hall's down in just a second there there we go uh, my hero's not even needed uh, normally you can see obviously I'm not I'm opting not to bring some wall breakers minions some uh, hog to lure any of those options that you see from other users just because you know uh, I don't know 80% of the time I'm getting two stars without needing the uh, the rest of my heroes here so let's go ahead and show another example and uh, we'll cover a couple of more of the finer points to this strategy here's the army composition by the way 11 dragons one lava hound and five balloons i have a poison spell for the clan castle troops of course half the time it's a it's a uh, lava hound in the clan castle and i don't end up needing the poison but i take it just in case some people might prefer to bring a haste spell now this is a different design base it's not one of those resource ring bases so you gotta again identify where the uh air defenses are and what you want to do is if like the previous attack if one of the inferno towers is set to single target i prefer going in away from that inferno tower rather than into it uh, because you know you don't have free spells and a single target inferno tower can do some work against dragons so here I decide to go in from the south I decide to use a wraparound method with the dragons which is kind of nice I don't advocate using this for like balloonian strategies but for dragons for whatever reason it tends to work really well you want to send your main uh, kill squad in with the grand warden and send the balloons in around that area too and then what you do is you just form a triangle with the three rage spells you deploy two uh a little maybe uh maybe 10 seconds or so into the uh dragon part portion of the raid and then you deploy that third rage spell right on top of the town hall now the trick to using the grand warden ability i guess this would be the third key of the successful attack is as soon as you see a the clan castle that's full of you know ground uh air targeting troops like wizards or archers as soon as you see that deploy then you can go ahead and deploy the tome ability or you can deploy the eternal tome once you start seeing those air mines come up from the ground before they hit their target same thing on go wee wee attacks right before you see well right when you see the giant bombs right when you see them you have actually like a two second delay before they explode so if you can click that the eternal tome ability right before they explode you actually have a great advantage let's go ahead and take a look at the number one base in the game and and, uh, I haven't looked at this base before, but I just want to tell you guys how I would attack it using this strategy. So, two air defenses in the south, 
Two ear defense is kind of clumped up a little bit in the north, but you always have to be aware of where the percentage is. Look, at there's way more units to the south of this base than there are to the north of the town hall, so I'm definitely going to be hitting from the south of this base. Not to mention the clan castles down here, and if given my choice, I'd always attack into the clan castle, because in the chance that there is a Lava Hound in the clan castle, your dragons will have the opportunity to kill it, to destroy the clan castle. That way, if you need your heroes, the king and the queen later, you won't have to deal with the Lava Hound because the clan castle will be destroyed. So in this uh, circumstance here, the, the Inferno Towers are both set to multi, and they're kind of spread out. It's kind of like a farming-ish design, even though it's obviously not a farming base, but it seems to be a very easy base to hit. So I would take out that far side air defense, I would go in towards that uh, near south southeast air defense, and then I would spread from that gold mine in the east all the way down to the uh, barracks in the south. That would, a nice wide spread on those dragons, that way you're be, you can be sure you get the percentage, that's why it's such a safe attack. Now I should mention before I let you guys go, that you can certainly use uh, two free spells, three rage spells, and an earthquake and a poison if you want to, and not zap that other air defense, but I find, although there is a, certainly more reward to stand that way, in terms of you have a better chance at three-starring a base, I think it's a little bit riskier in terms of two-starring challenging bases that are clearly anti-air setups, so you guys can choose what, what base, what, what tactic, I should say, works best for you, but for me personally, I like when pushing, I like doing this, the two lightning, one earthquake takeout of air defense, use a lava hound. In sometimes in wars like this war that we're currently in, I actually prefer using the two rage to uh, excuse me, two freeze, three rage. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you guys would like to consider supporting the channel for as little as $1 a month, I'd be so grateful. Check it out at www.patreon.com forward slash clash with ash. Guys, thanks so much for watching, and as always, take care. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. Just a few ways you can help the channel out. Number one, like. Number two, subscribe. And number three, comment. Tell me what you think of the video. I really appreciate it, guys, and it really helps me out a lot. Also, you can find me on social media. I'm active every day on Twitter, at Clash underscore with underscore Ash, and on Bindle chat group, hashtag Clash with Ash. And as always, you can find me on my website at www.clashwithash.com. Thanks, guys.